day my viewers this is Uglo fashion and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to put a goddess gown with bustier the straight of the shoulder that's bustier that's what i'm going to use for this so the materials i'll be using for this tutorial i'll use hard net because i want it to look bully i want it to look big so the down part so i'll use hard net then lining this is the fabric that I want to use for it. Then I'm going to make use of my body, that's for my bust here. And the paper stick, both are for the bust. For this tutorial, the measurement I'll be using the bust point, I mean the shoulder to the nipple point is 10, shoulder to under bust is 13, the shoulder to half length is 17. Then the total circumference of the bust is 36. Y for under bust is 30, and that of the half length is. 30 as well so the nipple to nipple is seven and i'll be using my short gown length as well the short gown length is going to be 40 then the shoulder is 50 now i'll measure my half length which is 17 inches then add one inches to it that's making it thin. then i'll measure the nipple point 10 inches then the half length i'll be doing under bust 13 inches i will rule out everything now i'll measure my shoulder which is 15 inches that's going to give me 7.5 because it will be divided into two shoulder is always divided by two so after that i'll measure my nipple to nipple the nipple to nipple is seven inches divided by two that's 3.5 3.5 And I'll connect the lines. So on the nipple point here, I'll come out with half inch. So here I'll measure 2.5 inches. So I'll I'll just connect it like so. Now see it's going to be a core shape since it's going to the first here. So this is how it's going to be. Then here as well i'll measure two inches so the two inches i'll measure it here as well so i'll just come and link it to the shoulder measurement i measured earlier like that then after that the measurement of my half length is 30 that's 7.5 and out of that 7.5 i've used this 3.5 here so that's for the nipple to nipple so it remains 4 point uh, 4 point that's going to then plus these two inches here i hope you understand what i'm trying to do you know the half length here is 30 30 divided by four will give me 7.5 and out of that 7.5 i've already used 3.5 this part i'm going to cut it off I, I don't need this part all this ones i don't need it so now from that from my 30 uh, from my 7.5 i've used 3.5 so the remaining will be 4.5 and these two inches here these two i will add it to it making six points uh, six inches rather so this is six inches i'll just pull it off then from here i'll measure 3.5 then come down by seven inches that's on my apple so i'm just doing this i have video on how to cut this particular well straight uh, shoulder that was here so if you don't understand things very well, you can check out that video. So now I'll put now for my back. I measured, I first measured my um, half length, which is 17 inches. Then I added one inch, just the way I did for the front, for the allowance, the joining allowance. Then I chopped two inches for my zipper allowance. 
bed is if it's going to be fixed. So I join, I, I use two inches for that. After that, I measured the shoulder. The shoulder is 15. So I said 15 divided by two. So the shoulder is always divided by two. So I measured 7.5 right after the zip allowance. So I come down here, I came down here and I measured 10 inches. That's for the nipple point, then 13 inches, that's for the under bust. So on the nipple point, so I measured from my, after the zipper allowance, I measured the bust point, the, start, the total circumference of the bust point, that's 36 divided by 4. So that's, that gives me 9. So I measured 9 up to here. Then on the other bust, I measured the owner bus is 30 divided by so that's 7.5. I measured 7.5. And likewise, I did the same here. The half inch is 30. So I measured 30 here, which is 7.5, right after the zipper allowance. So the next thing I did was to add my sewing allowance to 2 inches. I used 2 inches for the sewing allowance of this stage. Then on the ample, for the ample, I measured seven inches. Then I chopped out out of that seven inches, I chopped out 4.5. So at this angle, I measured one. Then I just give it a curve shape because our, our ample is curved and not sharp. So I just give it a curve shape to link up with the shoulder. So here, I measured my nipple to nipple, which is seven inches. That's seven divided by three, which is three, which is three point five. So from that point, I measured the three point five to my upper bust, which is like two inches above my nipple point. Two inches above my nipple point. I measured that's two inches above my nipple point. So I chalked the nipple point up to that stage. Then. I subtracted up here, I link it up, then the same here, so to give it a triangular shape. The reason why I did not add additional, this is like one inch now, it is one inch. The reason why I did not add ad additional one inch here is because these two inches is okay for it. At least I can still remove one inch from these two inches and I still have something to see. So that's the point, that's for the part. So it remains the down part. Down there for my gathers, I'm going to subtract my, the, my, short gown length from my half length which is going to be 40 minus 17 that's going to give me 23 so that 23 i'm going to add one and a half again i'm going to add one and a half the one inch is to fold the, this down part like so then the half is to join my half length to the gathers so this is how i'm going to do it so i'm going to put 24.5 inches 24.5 inches 24.5 inches that's for the gathers and the gathers itself it depends on how full you want it to be so for, for for my for this one that i want to sew i'm going to triple the half length the total circumference of the half length the half length is 30 and then the total circumference of the half length is 30 inches. So I'm going to triple it, which means I'm going to measure 90 inches. Plus, I'll add my sewing allowance of 2 inches, which I did for the um, for the bust here. Then add additional 2 inches for my back. That's for the zipper allowance. So making 90 plus 4. That's going to be 94. We understand better when I start sewing it. So now this is my 94 inches. I will chalk out a bit. I will not chalk the moody part because I want my gathered gown to have pockets by the side. So which means I'm still going to divide this into two. Then what I will do is just to add two inches extra to the back side because of the zipper allowance. Now I've traced out my fabric from my lining. I use my lining to trace out my fabric, you can see. This is the front. And this is the back. 
So I took out because I put my paper thick and all the chalks can't be showing again. So I I notch where the that is going to be. Then I took out where it's going to end as well. Do the same for the fabric. So now after this, I cut out my pocket. So for the pocket I use 12 inches by 6 inches. That is the length is 12 inches, then the breadth is 6 inches. And I give it a pop shape here. Four pieces. So two for one side. I will sew it for two for one side and this for the other side. And again, I cut my sleeve. I wanted to have small pop here. So I will I will make a, tut a tutorial on this so you can understand better how to cut this sleeve. So now I want to show you how to cut the breast on uh, the body. How to cut your body for the breast top. So I cut seven inches, the seven inches by 8.5 so i'm not going to use all the 8.5 so this is how to go about it you know you launch the under bust of this you can still see the notch here the paper state that blocked it here so you notch the under bust of this you will just ensure that the the notch part has little allowance like half inch this is the notch part and half inch to the launch part. Then you trace it out. It's the folded part because this side too is folded, it's the middle. So trace it out. That's for the middle. Then you cut, make it look like this just like your bust shape like if you have like sweetheart shape i don't know how best to explain that then the remaining one just place your body half inch to the other bust as well then you cut it out After that, you give this one to shape. So you now use the two to compare it to each other. So that if there's any excesses, one will not be longer than the other. You can see small one here. Just trim it off. So that one will not be longer than each other. That's all. Now I've joined my um, bustier. And this is the lining for it. I've joined the lining as well. So I'll go and sew it like this. I'll follow this part. I'll sew it like that. Then this one, so this is the back side. I've held my dart. As you can see. So now. So now I'll go and sew. This is the neckline. I'll go and sew the neckline like that. And here, so and I've joined my pocket as well. See where it ended. So this is where the hand is going to enter through. Let me lie on and I will show you the remaining. Now I've sewn my breast of my bust here. I've sewn it. I've joined the lining to it, and I've done likewise for the back side as well. Can you see the graph the iron the two together? So now the next thing is to go and hold my measurements. I will go and stitch out my measurements. I'll join my front and my back together. It remains the gather part. So now what I will do is this for the front. So what I will do now is I will sew three lines and drag it. I will show you how I'm going to do that now. Now I've sewn three straight lines and I left some threads so that I will be able to 
pull the threads like so. It's pushed that you pull one strand of the thread till you get the accurate measurements you needed. After pulling the threads, you can see the result I got. So now I measured, you know, I said the front part is uh, into four, which is 30 divided by four, 7.5. And the front part, because I folded it, that's why it was 7.5. So for it to be straight, like to be 15 which means the folded part uh, would be straight like um, and it will be 15 yeah. so that 15 plus sewing allowance one inch making 16 so i've got 16 here this back side too you know 7.5 this one, one side is 7.5 the other one is 7.5 plus zip allowance so this one is nine inches you can see so that's for the two back that's for the two back side so what I will do now is to join them together with my bust down. After the after that, uh, pulling the threads, I join both front and back. This is still the gathered part, so I join both front and back. Then I fix in my pockets. See it from the other side. So that I fix in my pockets. And set the pocket. So now I will now attach it to the post. Now that's the pocket. And my ad net. This is the ad net I told you about. Then the lining. I attach this to the lining coming from this post. Then the ad net, I attach it to this my fabric so if you like this video please subscribe and share and please give it a thumbs up as well and if you have any comments you can put it in the comment section i'm waiting there for you thank you